107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Quakes House WBLS in the house right now. One of the most beautiful ladies in the world. She's from the D and has a show that all men should watch, you know, called Paternity Court. I want you to put your hands together for the beautiful, the one and only Miss Lauren Lake. How you doing? Hello there. I'm wonderful. Great you, to be here. It's great to have you here. <laughs> now, you know I'm a strong advocate for men and their kids. Yes. Now, there's certain questions I know a lot of men want to ask. First of all, what rights do men have once the kids are born um, when it comes to paternity to determine paternity? You know, paternity court is not just about the aha moment of are you or are you not the father. We try to help impart legal lessons so people can understand their rights. Fathers have more rights than what they often think. First thing is... Men often think, well, if the woman brings me to court to get a DNA test, she's the only one that has the right. No, as a man, if you believe a child is your biological child and you, you need to hire a lawyer, you need to go get some legal support, and you need to file a petition in the court. You need to take action. You have that right. Another right men are not often familiar with is the birth certificate issue. Mm -hmm. How many times do I hear in my courtroom, well, when she had the baby, we were all up in there. Her mama was in there and my mom was in there, but I had doubts. And I said, well, wh what did you do? Well, I just signed a birth certificate because everybody was in there. I didn't want to make, you know, everything look bad and feel bad during such a beautiful time. You don't understand when you sign that birth certificate, you become the legal father, the legal father. That means... Whether or not you are later determined to be the biological father, you've basically signed on that you're the legal father, you're responsible for this child, you have to pay child support, you have to help raise this child financially, and the, the, the state can come after you for child support. So how many men have sat in that delivery room and signed a birth certificate they had no business signing because they thought they were doing the well, right thing. The, uh, 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 it's hard. Everybody there, and she looking there all stressed out. Cause Trust lady, me. I, I, I understand it. it so, but that's 18 years but, of paying out for one moment of being uncomfortable. You just might want to go on and be uncomfortable. But what's the difference between the biological father and be the legal father? Because there are many instances where there is a biological father, meaning right? that is the man that actually gave the DNA to have this baby to this this right. woman, that's the biological father. But the legal father is somebody else of record because that's the man on the birth certificate. And then another amazing point, I have to say this because this happens too often. If somebody called you to court on a paternity issue, you right. cannot ignore it. I don't care how crazy it is. I don't care if you say, I have never slept with that girl. I, I don't, I, I've never been with that girl. I'm Show not even anyway. going to go. You have to because if you don't, you can be named the father by default. By like, default. By default. If oh, you Lord. don't show up, people don't know that. Oh, and your name will be placed on the birth certificate as the father of record because you did not show up. So what do you do if you got caught up in that moment? Get a lawyer. And you saw that, if you can't, if <laughs> you can't a afford legal, well, what, what you, I mean, can you get out of that after you sign the legal, the birth certificate, and then it you It is have very doubts? difficult, and it's, and it's handled on a state-by-state -state basis, on a case-by-case -case basis, what? because ultimately the court is going to look at what's in the best interest of the child. Some states even have statutes of limitations that after you have taken on a child and held out for a certain number of years that this is your child, and taking care of this child, you can't go back later and say, uh oh, now I don't want to be the father of this child. Who made Whether this Whether or not you're the biological father. See, people are ignorant of the law and they get themselves caught in situations that they have no clue that they're in, which is why I often say, even if you can't afford a lawyer, find a free legal aid. Call a father's rights organization. Right. They may have help. Uh, free legal aid for fathers that need help in this area. But it's very important as men for you to understand that you have rights, but you also shouldn't be so ignorant of the law that you give up your rights or you, you <laughs> I mean, you act out in a way that impedes your rights. Well, let me ask, okay. So you feel that this child is not yours in your heart for whatever reason. He's, he, he was light-skinned when he was born and he's still light-skinned and you dog as night. Now, don't say, say that all the time on our show. Now, you know, I'm just saying, if I, baby, come out here, I'm colors. Not, well, listen, and if I got an Elgin Bars and both of us is Teddy Pendergrass, 
I'm, hell no. That is hell not the no. way it works. That's not the way it works. Well, uh, listen, if that baby it's don't about look nothing the like DNA. me. DNA, you take on and the characteristics of the baby. And sometimes the child does not necessarily look exactly like one parent. They may look like the other parent. Both or of they, us dark as night, Lauren. <laughs> it may throw back from a previous generation. Well, you don't know. Well, that's who need to take care of the previous generation. <laughs> so what I'm saying to you is, <laughs> if you feel that and you don't, what do you do? What like, do you do? Like I said, of course, the, the, the easiest thing to do would be to approach the mother and say, I am very concerned that I'm not the biological father of this child. Before you interrupt me, I'm going to tell you how that probably is not going to happen. Right. I often say there are issues that need to be solved in the living room instead of the courtroom. The first thing you need to do is try to talk because you never know. Maybe she says, well, okay, we'll have a DNA test. Maybe the child's an adult. How many adult children come on paternity court, our show, and just say, look, I'm 30 years old. I don't care nothing about child support. I don't want child support. I just want to know my dad. So I want to know if you're my father, I'll have the DNA test with you. The first thing is to try to communicate. Communicate your concern. If that doesn't work and people are not cooperative, then you need to seek legal help and get legal advice. Can I petition the court to request a paternity test relating to this child? Well, I I, I mean, I hate to correct you because you're so right, but I wouldn't do it at the dinner room table, dining room table, a public place. So when she snapped, you got <laughs> witnesses. You know what I mean? You need to be somewhere <laughs> when she knock over everything. <laughs> I don't think this is my baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is my baby. You thought I was a loose woman and all that and everything. I'm telling you, I've been there. You know so what you I mean? say have it out in the public Please place. take it to a public restaurant with a lot of people there, undercover cop the over there. The important so thing is to attend attempt the communication True. and especially look when you have a situation when the child is an adult then you can talk to the child and both okay. of you two can then go and okay. present your DNA the, the truth is ultimately I just don't want fathers to feel like you know and, and I'll be very honest many of the laws are skewed yes, towards are. the mother Thank and they you. are it just is what it is and it's been that way for a very long time but more and more fathers are raising their children more and more fathers have custody of their children more and more fathers are being involved with their children the raising of their children in a very present way and that's what we want that's what we want to encourage and that's why we try to impart these legal lessons so that you'll understand that you can be empowered under the law as well yeah we call that the looter effect we're getting our looter on you know what i'm saying snatch that baby and be gone listen uh let me uh right now please tell everybody when your show coming on what you got going on right now you can check your local listings for paternity court at paternity court tv and www.paternitycourttv and you can follow me at lauren lake ent on social media I am so excited every day to see Paternity Court be such a, 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 a great, you know, an awesome show for everyone. And you all have enjoyed it. The ratings are great. We're so proud to celebrate fatherhood each and every day. So we hope that you tune in and celebrate it with us. Well, thank you for coming by the Quakes House. Thank you. And we you. love you to death. Everybody give it up for the one and only Miss Laura Lake. Thank you. In the house. Quakes House. WBLS. <laughs> thank you, girlfriend. Thank you. D-Train in the house. <laughs>